great unit for doing a big lap, but how about we get out and do a small lap around our off-road course here and have some fun. Let's go. You've got the gold streak. Righto. <laughs> Here we go, mate. So 30 years of experience, but this is a new van. Yeah, it's only only been produced the last couple of weeks. This is the last caravan of the challenge. Oh, it's unbelievable. Yes. Okay. A bit sucky because I'm having too much fun. Final fun. Let's go out in style. Straight. Absolutely. Start your engine, big guy. Let's go. And three, two, one, go, go, go. It looks fantastic, doesn't it? There are a few manufacturers in my book that do it quite as well as Goldstream RV. Mitch, Goldstream, they've been 30 years in business, but you've been with them for a damn long time as well. 30 years up and uh, been there since van number four. Gee, you're part of the furniture, mate. Part of the furniture. This is a lovely little hump, this one. It's quite surprising. A lovely drive into the river here. Yes, it is, isn't it? I've camped down here with Goldstream campers a number of times, mate. I've had some wonderful experiences down here. Just watch out in your uh, right-hand mirror there, mate. That branch creeps up and tries to grab you just a little bit. Well, it's a big van. I'm wondering how he went past the river. You know, he's got to stick far left. He's got the trees on the right. It's a pretty big van. All good. We're all good? We're all Way good. to go. Yeah, it's a lovely little spot. It's a bit of a secret spot that I've had for about 30 years as well, so I've enjoyed the best of it, no doubt. I can see why you keep coming back. Yeah, it's lovely, isn't it? Mate, just watch this one. A little bit of a whoopsie? Yeah, it is. As you go, oh, look at that. Not a problem in the world, eh? Not a problem in the world. Looking good. Well, it looks great. Have a look at it coming through. Yeah, it looks awesome. The big V8 just pulls it beautifully. Yeah, it's handles. I've got to say, I'm impressed. Handles this pretty easily, does Oh, it does. But as I've said a number of times before, mate, it's these roads like this, as you well know. But this is what we're on for thousands of kilometres. Here we go. This is where we get a bit of grass under us. Came around beautifully, no problem. It is towing beautifully. How much does that one weigh, do we know? We're looking at a tear of around 2,700 kilos. And <laughs> I'll tell you what, that Nissan V8 just doesn't even know it's there, mate. So this is a new model in the Rhino series, yeah? The model's been around for quite a few years. We've just refined it a little bit, given it a bit of an update, a 2024 update uh, with a few new features and yep. just tricking it up a little bit, yeah, nice. making it look good. This is the trickiest part though, your favourite it, it bit, actually mate. Is, mate. It's deceptive. We're just hitting the uh, the mounds. You know what, these mounds are actually, he's just done the worst of it too, around to the left here. And uh, these mounds are actually some of the worst of this whole track, believe it or not, but uh, and he's hit the hardest line of all. Done well. I was actually just saying to Geordie that those mounds and uh, even that valley to an extent probably are the most challenging bit here. Um, it's kind of deceptive. They are deceptive. We're going into the, the belly of doom. Here we are. Yeah, we can see you. He just walked down there. That uh, didn't rock to the side at all. You know what? We're not in four-wheel drive. <laughs> we're still in high two. And we've just climbed up out of the Valley of Doom without a problem in the world. So it's not the Valley of Doom, it's the Garden of Gentle Pressure. Yeah, he's just done that in two-wheel drive. That's quite impressive. You know what, Mitch? If I was taking off for a big lap or a trip right up north and then across to the west like you're about to do, I'd want to be doing it with this rig. It seems to be really, really comfortable. And, you know, handling the weight's not a problem. OK, here they come. It looks great, doesn't it? And they've got big smiles Mitch on their Mitch is faces. looking very happy. You're very happy with yourself, mister. Hello, boys. <laughs> what do we think? Great, what a ripper little track. Yep. We're, we're around a great property too. Mitch reckons it's just like driving Miss Daisy. Oh, like, <laughs> oh, you're well, not that a, old. A, a nice easy course for him, put it that way, yeah. Right. Yeah, it's a comfortable and, drive. Even though we did have some challenging mounds, yeah. hill climbs, all sorts of bits and pieces there, this thing just did it so easily all the way through. Yeah, you made it look easy, mate. 30 years of experience, Goldstream Caravans. <laughs> you just can't beat it. Well, why don't you guys park it up so that you can check out the inside? I'm keen, mate. I want to see what's going on. The whole construction. They've done well. Have fun, boys. Mitch, before we go any further, 
I'd just like to present you to, with a little bit of appreciation for being such a great participant in this year's Go RV Sirocco 2 Off-Road Challenge, mate. How about giving us a few of your key points about this Ripper Caravan, the Rhino 2050? This is our new 24 edition. Cruise Master XT underneath, three 220 watt solar panels up on the roof. We're using the, the one-piece composite wall on the outside cladding. It's still a fully framed van, so we've still got plenty of structural strength in there as well. So on the inside, we've done a, a new ensuite. So mm. we've put a little bit more cabinetry in there. We've done the waterfall bench tops on the end of the kitchen. Amenity and decor is just terrific though. I walk in there and go, wow, I actually looked at the brown leatherette style of upholstery and went, it's almost Chesterfield, isn't it? It is. It's uh, something that we're just trying. And hopefully if you liked it, mm. many others will. Comfort all around. We've got the queen bed up front. Mate, I'll tell you what, I could live in that for a long time on the road. Don't need much more, do you?